Today's Mishnah will be learned the Zecher Nishmas Harav Rafa Yakusiel Ben Yosef Barach by Rafi Waxman, whose yard site is today. Rafi Waxman. Okay. Meruba Midas Tashlume Chefel Me Midas Tashlume Arbava Chamisha. So, that in, in a certain sense, the law of paying double. Uh, has more applications than the laws of playing four and five. The halacha is that if somebody steals something, a ganav, so they went and they <clears throat> steal something from somebody else, they have to pay double. They have to pay twice back to the owner. However, there's a special rule that if uh, somebody steals an ox or a sheep and then uh, slaughters or sells them afterwards, they have to pay back five times for the ox and four times for the sheep. So the mission is telling us that there are some differences in terms of application. Namely, In regards to kefal, in regards to paying back double, you pay back double whether it's uh, something that's alive or something that, that's not alive. Uh, meaning even if you steal uh, whatever materials you may steal that are not a live animal, you still have to pay double. Well, the four or five, midas tashlume yarbav ha-chamisha, eno hegas ela b'shor v'seh bilvad. And um, the, in regards to paying four and five, it only applies to an ox and a sheep, not just things that are alive, but very specifically an ox or a sheep. Shenemar, because it says, ki yignov ish shor oseh etvacho macharo, because it says if you shall steal an ox or a sheep and slaughter or sell it. Normally, when it says, you know, in the Torah, shor chamor, so it, an ox or a donkey, it really can apply to all animals in many places, or sometimes it can apply to all, all, all things. Here, because there's a double language of shor or set, it says it twice, so the Torah, we learn out that basically uh, it's dafka. I mean, it's only an ox and only a sheep. No other animals do, to, does this uh, rule apply to. Yeah, yeah, sheep and goats. Yeah, but I'm saying that's, uh, but that's it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not to your pet hamster or anything else. Now, if somebody steals from a thief, somebody steals your stuff, and then you steal from from the thief, you don't have to pay back double. It's only if you steal from the actual owner. Stealing from the thief, that you don't have to pay back double. And similarly, also, if you go ahead and somebody steals somebody else's ox, and then you steal that ox and you slaughter it or you sell it, you don't have to pay four or five times. The rule of four or five is sort of in, on top of Kefel, where we learn out that it's connected to the rule of paying double. So if you're not paying double, then you're not paying four or five either. Karan